All right, February is heart month and there is no better time to discuss how to prioritize heart health than on Valentine's Day. Joining us today to help us recognize the warning signs of a serious heart condition is Dr. Peter Cohen with South Coast Health. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. Well, today. Thanks for having me. Um, I, I was going to get ready to give you my tie so you could, <laughs> you could hang out with us today. I, I, I would have loved to have done that. I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't wear my red today. It's, it's <laughs> all good. So so let's get to it. Uh, tell us about the South Coast Health and your position at the uh, at the organization. So South Coast Health is a nonprofit um, healthcare system that stretches from actually from Providence um, all the way out to uh, Cape Cod, um, focused on three core hospitals, uh, Toby, um, St. Luke's and Charlton. Charlton is the hub of, of all cardiovascular services. I am the physician in chief of the cardiovascular uh, care center now rebranded as the heart and vascular center at, at South Coast and uh, we our care center focuses on exactly what we just said heart and vascular so we encompass cardiology cardiac surgery and vascular surgery two traditional surgical fields and one traditional medicine field we're all together to treat one disease process so so is that what you would believe that would make you kind of like the leader in this in all of this Yes, we, um, we're the leader in, in the region right. uh, in heart attack care and advanced cardiovascular procedures and services. Um, we have a dedicated cardiac cath lab that's been present for 30 years, but really doing high-end uh, high cardiovascular care for 20 years. We, we're doing cutting-end cardiac interventions, right. uh, including a unique uh, procedure called uh, lithotripsy, intravascular lithotripsy, which I think most people are familiar with lithotripsy when you come in and get your kidney stone blasted. Mm -hmm. We can actually now go in with catheters and take arteries that are heavily calcified that traditionally you cannot open up with just a, a balloon and a stent. It would right. require surgery. Now we can actually go in there and um, modify the calcium to enable stents to go in. This is pretty uh, unique and been around for, for a couple of years and we're, we've been on the cutting edge of that technology. So we were talking before and I know one of the things you really want to make sure that people know out there is the signs or the warning signs in case you are having a heart attack and what to do immediately if you are. That's a great <clears throat> question yeah. and for a heart attack what you want to look for is classic symptoms are chest pressure, heaviness, discomfort. A lot of people say pain. It's not always a classic sharp pain. It's more of a pressure, heaviness. It can be a pain. Right. Sometimes radiating to the arm, sometimes associated with nausea and vomiting, um, sweating, um, and those are the classic symptoms. But some people will present even with jaw discomfort, throat discomfort. So you really, if it's something that's not usual for you and it's lasting for a while, and if you're particularly if you have some risk factors that would identify you as a potential cardiac patient, you immediately should call 911, especially if it's prolonged. And that's that's right. the key to uh, any success in treating a heart attack. And, and just very quickly, I, I know you were saying time is of the essence if you are having the heart attack. So in cardiology, we, we say time, time is muscle. Right. And if you are having a heart attack, the quicker you get in, the quicker we could restore blood flow to right. the heart muscle and therefore preventing damage. And we have a great system with our local EMS where you call and they suspect that you're having a heart attack, they can do an EKG in the field before you even go to the ER. They right. can transmit that EKG to, the, um, to our ER at Charlton. The ER physician will look, say yes, this is a heart attack, and immediately activate our cath lab. So, so our, our cath lab, especially on, at, in the middle of the night when people are not sleeping at the hospital, right. They're activated, they're coming in, they're driving in as EMS is driving into the hospital. So everybody's there. Everybody is there, and that cuts down on the time to open up the artery, and time is muscle. Well, doctor, thanks so much for being with us today. It is all good information. Don't, don't waste any time. You can take a look at these warning signs and learn more about the Vascular Center at South Coast Health by heading to roadshow.com.